Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to scan using your Epson EcoTank uh, printer. Now this will apply to actually any EcoTank printer, they're all the same, they will use the same firmware and hardware. However for the purposes of this demonstration and this video I'll be using the EcoTank ET2860. So let's get this started, uh, it's very simple actually. Um, but there's a few prerequisites that you need to keep in mind. Now, the first things first, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to print using the app. Um, if you don't have the app set up, um, I'd recommend checking my guide on how to set up Wi-Fi and my general beginner's guide on the Epson Ego Tank. Um, you can tell if you're ready to use the app, whether you have that light or not, and that will basically signify whether your printer is connected to Wi-Fi or not. So... Let's get the app open and let's get started. Okay, so here's the app and you can see that my printer is connected um, and it's there. Um, if you have a kind of like a yellow warning symbol over that, it means your printer isn't connected and isn't ready. Um, and very self-explanatory to scan, we're gonna click the scan tile. Now, when you set up your app, you may have set up, you were given the option to have two different layouts. So you may have set up with the alternate layout, so it might look a bit different to this, but there will be a scan button somewhere. In the tile layout, this is what it looks like. I'm going to click scan. Um, here you can um, edit all your options and whatnot. I'm going to be scanning an A4 document, and you can decide, and you can even change the image format. Now, um, unlike older printers, which would kind of scan to email or USB, which I believe might still be possible with this one, um, this one scans directly to the app on your phone and then um, from your phone you can do whatever you want with the actual file itself. So first things first, before we click start, we're going to want to open up the uh, copying slash scanning tray and we're going to get our test subject document. Um, for, the, for this video I'm just going to use one of the pieces of paper that actually came with the printer. It's a guide but it's an A4 paper, A4 format. So the Americans watching this, I don't know, I think that might be 8 by 12 I don't know what you guys call it, um, but I don't know, you guys are cool anyway. So um, we're going to put it flat down now. Remember, as with copying or scanning anything with this printer, you really want to make sure that the top right corner of your document is touching the top right corner over here where the arrow is. That's very important, so you might have a little gap there. Um, Shut the lid, make sure it's flat. We're going to get our app open one more time. And we're going to click start. Um, and you'll begin to hear the printer spool away. So we will give that just a second to scan. There we go. So as soon as it's done scanning, you will see that it's going to show your newly scanned document actually inside the app. And I think this is super cool, super useful. You can see the crease and whatnot. And you can then click next and you can save this directly to your device. So I'm just going to save it into my, so it actually creates an Epson smart panel folder in your files app. And then, um, and then that's that. Um, so that's how you scan. Um, now, like I said, it saves it in your files app on your phone. So you can search files app. I would do it, but I don't want to show you guys my files. Um, so you can search the files app and um find it and then you could share that you can attach it via email or um, you can print it again if you want and so on and so forth so that was that for the video that is how you scan using your epson eco tank thank you very much for watching i hope you have a nice day um leave a comment like and subscribe and check out the rest of my channel for other content on this printer um i might be answering questions that you've been looking for the answer for so thank you very much have a good night and bye bye